It is now September, so let's find out what new updates we have for Starlink. I'm Lawrence, and you're watching FLG TV. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another FLG TV video, bringing the latest in tech and gear and anything else in between. Let's dive in and see what's new we have for Starlink. Between now and the last video I made about Starlink, SpaceX had two additional Starlink missions, one on August 18 deploying 58 satellites and the second one earlier this month on September 3 successfully deploying an additional 60 Starlink satellite into orbit. Barring any delay, SpaceX has two additional launches for the month of September with each carrying 60 Starlink satellites. With the additional 58 and 60 now deployed, SpaceX has now delivered over 700 satellites into orbit. Elon Musk mentioned that they needed at least 500 to 800 in orbit before before service could roll out. Also, Gwen Shotwell, the president and chief operator of SpaceX, mentioned that they need at least 14 launches before service could begin to have enough bandwidth for everyone. And currently, they are sitting at 12 that's too shy of that 14. With the two additional launches planned in September, SpaceX will hit that 14 launch mark. Does that mean sometime in October or November we'll see Starlink finally be available to the public? They did say that they plan to have Starlink available to customers in some part of North America by the end of this year or maybe that was just the beta stages. The beta testing is still in private stages and not in public. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and I will do my best to keep you updated on Starlink or you just want to catch any other video I upload on this channel. Also hit that like button if you find this video helpful so far. Moving on, Starlink private beta testing is still ongoing. Most of the questions people had were about speeds and latency. Well, in the latest presentation to the FCC, space SpaceX shared a couple speed tests showing that download speeds of around 100 megabits per second, upload speeds of 40 megabits per second, and sub 20 ms pings. This is way up from the 10 to 60 download and 10 upload I mentioned in my last Starlink video. Gaming and streaming should be no problem with those numbers, but keep in mind that Starlink is still a work in progress and SpaceX still plans to unlock its full potential as it continues to deploy more satellites. In the latest launch, SpaceX also tested what it called space lasers. No, not that kind of laser. Elon Musk is still far away from creating the actual Death Star. I'm talking about the inter-satellite links, one of SpaceX capabilities. SpaceX mentioned that it successfully tested two satellites in orbit that had the space lasers. The inter-satellite link enables satellites to transfer hundreds of gigabytes of data between each other instead of bouncing it back down to Earth and up again till it reaches its destinations. SpaceX claims once the space lasers are fully deployed, Starlink will be one of the fastest options to transfer for data around the world. Make sure to subscribe if you want to follow the developments of Starlink with me and also hit the like button if you found this video helpful. That's all the updates I have for you for Starlink. Once again, I'm Lawrence, you're watching Alpha UTV. See you in the next video.